There we go. Yeah. So we welcome you to this evening uh, where we're going to be showing the video that Rick Wilcoxon created from <laughs> the second conference, um, which took place in Phoenix just about a month ago. And actually he has been working on this video ever since. And we're very, very excited to have all of you see this. And let's go ahead and get started. And there will be time for questions after. Full so screen. I would, <laughs> yeah, full screen. I would wait just a <laughs> Sound went off. You know the sound is off. Elizabeth. Karen's not feeling well, so I probably shouldn't go out. Besides, I've got a fixed list of things I need to do around the house. Then I hang up the phone, turn the radio back on, and sit back. technical difficulties and um lisa said that maybe if rick shows from his own computer it'll be better and i don't want anyone to miss a second of this i am so sorry i um and obviously whoever has their children who have stopped on this screen right now i'm sure that this is very special for them to see them a little bit quicker or slower so is it okay if you do that then rick because that's what lisa is asking um, if you unmute, wait, wait, let me ask you to unmute. Can you unmute? Yeah, you I want to confirm, Irene, was it freezing on yours? 
Okay. Yeah. A uh, little bit it was. Yes. And it was stopping. The music was stopping. It wasn't yeah. at all on mine. So I didn't even realize. And I apologize. So let's start this over again. Um, and that way, you guys, whatever you missed in the beginning, you'll be able to see again. Um, and do you have, uh, let me go ahead and make you a co host to make sure. I, I don't know if you are yet. Um, so do you know how to do that, Rick? Do you Can you get it up on the computer yourself? I will try. I'm, I'm prepared to do that if I can share the screen. I've done it once with uh, Warren. So this will stop by the screen sharing. OK, guys, stand by here. It's worth waiting, that's for sure. Share sound, optimize for video. Um, is this the one? Okay, so wait a second for me. I'll share whatever's on the screen. Okay, this is what I want, but I need to. I'm going to share what's on my screen. What's yeah, the option? That, that's Elizabeth's video. Oh, I better stop my share first. I'm stopping. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. I think you should be able to now. <laughs> okay. I want to share, but then I want to share the screen. Yes. I can see your screen. Yeah, that's the one. Hang on. Okay. Are you still there? I'm still yes. here. I think everybody's still here. Okay, I think I, I'm ready. If you can, you see it? Yes, we can yes. see it. If you're ready, uh, here we go. Let's do this again. Thanks so much. <laughs> It's a shining bright is always downtown on the road I have friends that come from out of town asking me to go they say there's so much going on why don't you come along and show us around I tell them Karen's not feeling well so I probably shouldn't go out Besides, I've got a fixed list of things I need to do around the house. Then I hang up the phone, turn the radio back on, and sit back down. I know my boy ain't here, but he ain't gone. In the mornings, I wake up, give her. Head to the kitchen Pour a cup and wake me up And try to rouse up some ambition Go outside, sit by myself But I ain't alone I've got the father, my son And the Holy Ghost I've been beat up, I've been but never ever really knocked down Between mom and dad, uncle Sam and friends I somehow always pulled out But the pain of this was more Than I'd ever felt before Yeah, I was broke I cried and cried and cried Until I passed out on the floor Then I prayed and prayed Thought I couldn't pray anymore Then minute by minute Day by day My God, He gave me hope I know my boy ain't here But he ain't gone In the mornings I wake up Give her a kiss Head to the kitchen
In the mornings I wake up, give her a kiss, head to the kitchen. Pour a cup, wake me up, and try to rouse up some ambition. Go outside, sit by myself, but I ain't.
I started writing the song on April 27th, 2019. So the song is called Kaleidoscopes. <laughs> Frolicked as kids, having fun, long past the setting sun, under the stars, laying low, just you and me in the moonlight glow. I never thought that that would go away But it all just disappeared one day And I know I never told you everything Like I said I did But you were always there for me In the dark you were my remedy Maybe next time I'll place my heart on the bed a bit mm, Life is just a mess don't give in to its darkness One day I'll see you again No matter when But I'll be looking through Glass trying to see the world Through your point of view But I don't know if it's gonna work Cause I know I know I'll see you soon. I'm here to tell you that the solitude can end right here. I've never been so helplessly empty. I've been a shell of myself since you left me. And all of those nights that we once shared And now a broken memory that can't be repaired It all felt so right, even what went wrong At a home so easy to belong I was lost in a dream, guess it's time that I awaken I guess I never knew how fast it falls Couldn't see how I could lose it all But I guess you don't know what you really need until it's taken Life is just a mess Don't get into its darkness One day I'll see you again Cause I'll be Feel them 
as strongly as spirit and I feel that I'm just laying there staring at the moon oh, I hope I'll see hope I'll see I know I'll see you What helps so much is seeing other people change through their grief. One of the things you learn is no feeling is fine. Meaning is not in the horrific event. Meaning is in us. Meaning is what we do afterwards. And you might find you have the energy ball and put your hands together. If you don't feel it, bring your hands out a little bit. So even when someone is miles away, always remember that we're under the same sky, looking for the same sun, moon, and stars. It's all there. Physics is all 
already there to explain how it is that mediums can see our loved ones at different ages. Because it's all there. It's not like they have to invent it. It's not imagination. It's predicted by basic physics. That I heard of once, once in a
Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was so emotional. It's always completely emotional when I watch that. And I know that for Nolan's parents, it must have just been incredible. Rick, you are amazing. And I just want to say yep. this evening with um, everybody listening right now, that Rick never misses a Cardinals game. I had no idea that there's a home game. And in fact, we're going to have something about uh, Rick and Lisa and all of the games that they've attended in the honor in honor of Anthony um, in the newsletter coming up. But tonight is a home game for the Cardinals oh. and had no idea, but he insisted on doing this because it's Morgan's angel date um, tonight because I said, oh my gosh, it'd be great if you could do it tonight. And he uh -huh. did it. So um, I also want to say that that last image of Rick carrying that chair on his back, um, I know you saw all the incredible places that he put that chair throughout the film in the very beginning. Um, he showed it just kind of coincidentally, just to, I think Lisa sent it just to show us how Rick got that chair around, which came from the Sheraton, obviously. Um, I was blown away when I saw the picture, first of all, because I thought, oh my gosh, this has got to go in the movie at the end. He hadn't put it in yet. Second of all, because Morgan's number um, on his football team was number 66, and it was retired in a ceremony a week after he passed. Um, this is on the football field with the coaches and um, some of his teammates and my whole family. Um, and we have his jerseys here, number 66. So that was obviously meant to be that that picture was supposed to be in the film. So I'm going to pass this over to Rick and also, if you all have any questions, pl please put them in the chat box. But Rick, please tell us a little bit more about this incredible documentary that everyone is writing about and saying how much they love. Uh, thank you. And um, Anthony's covering for me at the football game, so we're good there. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to say. The, uh, the conference was wonderful. It, it was just amazing. I know I get a different experience than everybody else does because I'm busy working, but what a, a joy and a, a treasure it is to see um, love, to see the, the people and the balance of emotions. And it's a safe place where we can get that balance. We can laugh and be happy and we can be um, vulnerable and feel the pain of our grief with without being judged. So for me, it was a, it's a great challenge to try to capture that and share that with people who don't understand because you guys did a great job at the conference. Again, Elizabeth and Irene, it was just amazing. And uh, so that's- Lots of us did, it was all the kids too. I wanted to ask, <laughs> possible to interrupt to maybe have Sheila and Warren say something about um, the video. Would you all yes, be please something? Um, I was still honored that you included our guy and his song that means so much to us. And, uh, you know, we hope other people, you know, found meaning in it too. It's, it's my favorite song he wrote. It, and it was the first reassurance that I had that I was like, oh, his soul wrote that song. Like, how does a, he was how does a 13 year old kid write a song about grief and loss when he's never lost? And, and there's a separate video where he's on Zoom with his buddies and he can't explain where the song came from. Anyway, we're just grateful. Rick is, uh, Man, I, I don't know how to put into words. You did such a beautiful wow. job and we're so grateful. What an honor to get to, for Nolan to get to perform with Scott like that together. That is dream. He's such a high dream. honors for him. Yeah. Talented young man. He just, I loved every minute of it. I still enjoy bouncing. I've listened to him probably a thousand times oh. through this and I still love it. He, well, he I just have to say- stuff too. 
that to be able to superimpose him over Scott and vice versa was just incredible, Rick. And not only that, but I have to say to Sheila and Warren, that grin that he has at the <laughs> end of that one sequence yeah. is just absolutely adorable. <laughs> and yeah. I, I think it captures just the love that all of our kids have for us and um it, it that's just a perfect perfect smile perfect song um you guys did such a fabulous job i'd like for um let's see if brian is here could he unmute because he yes i'd it. love to i'd love to have brian talk about it about the um, video throughout. And Irene, do you have a way to find him and unmute him? I'm gonna look and, okay. Come on, Brian, where are you? He was a presenter, obviously, at the conference. I think some of those pictures of Brian are- He's up. unmuted. He's unmuted. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> oh, hey, Brian. You guys probably can't see me. I'm in the dark room. That was in incredible. That was that was just amazing. It really captured the energy of the whole conference. Yeah, yeah. It was, it that was, was a goal. Well, yeah, you know, being there was amazing, and, and and Rick, the way you put that together, it really just kind of it brought. I think it brought everybody back right back to where we were. So thank you for doing that. My pleasure, and that's the reward. I saw. I don't know how to work Zoom, but I could see the little things coming up, and that that makes it all worth it. <laughs> uh, rekindle that energy that's good yeah well it was amazing thank you for sharing that brian as well and i'm so glad you're on here and i saw that ty had said something as well a little earlier um i'm just amazed at all the pictures that rick took i had no idea that he had taken all of these pictures and I don't think I even really saw him with his camera going around, but um, that was an amazing thing to do that. Yeah. And uh, Elizabeth, how interesting. Today is Morgan's Angel Date. We got to see the video and we received the contract in the mail for the next conference that we that has to be signed. So Elizabeth is going to be signing it tonight. <laughs> and we're going to contract every single room this time instead of um, oh, every a dead room in the hotel. So get ready. We took every room last time. So everybody get, get ready for next time. But I, I just wanted to say that Mary is saying, um the empty chair is a striking message but when i realized it came from the conference it took this message to a whole new level which is true i mean take if you could have chosen a, a lighter chair to take all of those places but you took one from the conference which is just amazing and very very meaningful and um, yes, we, we are going to be doing it the same place. So we hope that everybody's going to be joining us, but it won't be for another two years. So it's going to be in 2022. And um, four. four, I mean, four, I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. It's been a hard day. I'm glad that you're here to remind me. But um, anyway, I'd love for Anna to say something on it are you um let's see can i unmute you and have you say something about this because i saw that you were also posting in the I'm just gonna pop into people's lives right now but would you like to say something about the video of course i'm sh yes of course this is an honor rick and all of you i think we all part of this beautiful beautiful joy and gratitude and love and for Rick to the eye to bring all this alive and I just think that this this is such a beautiful moment I think to watch this and to have been alive at that time and to bring this beauty in all of us I was crying you know you brought tears and and I, it's such an emotional moment when um, to see all of this, and especially for me, that was transformational to know and to hear that Gordon Smith said, your boy wants you to dance and I have danced. And I'm just so emotionally grateful to all of you because this has been uh, not only an experience, but it's, 
when you feel your children with you, it's just so soulful and joyful. And um, I think we can all feel that in our skin. Well, I just want to uh, say that having you um, get that reading from Gordon and seeing you dance was what, yes, the highlight of the conference. Exactly. What Brian just piped into the chat box. It was one of my favorite parts of the conference. And so um, thank you mm -hmm. for uh, well, thank, thank you for you. sharing with us. Thank you for being our affiliate leader for helping parents heal on Espanol. You do so much for everyone, Anna, and I'm just so grateful to you. And um, I, I would love, Rick, for you to tell a little bit about, I mean, I, I understand that you obviously carried this chair. We saw you at the very end carrying your, the chair on your back. Could you tell us a little bit more about all of the different places that you went? And there's a backstory to, to your telephone that I would love for people to hear. I just think <laughs> Well, I, the, the concept I was inspired to see in that room full of chairs. And I decided I wanted to go get the pictures in as remote places as I could find, because that's how I felt in early grief. I just felt alone and, uh, I went all over Arizona for about two weeks, getting all these all these pictures in a bunch of different places. And I wanted to get to what we have transformation in the beautiful spots of Arizona and the places that remind me of heaven. So it, it, all over Arizona from the White Mountains up on the uh, reservation of Northern Arizona, the Grand Canyon, of course, Little Colorado. Um, there's a special story. Some of that is at Sunset Crater, which is a, um, a dormant volcano outside of uh, Flagstaff. And it, it's funny, some of the people who saw me hiking with that chair gave me weird looks and a few people asked and, and talked, <laughs> which understandably. But there's a group of college students at Sunset Crater and they asked, what was I doing? Because they saw me out filming and climbing up and down and stuff. And I, I told them and they shared, they said, what a beautiful thing because the volcano that is dormant since the, the big eruption, it's growing. There's new growth and it's becoming a forest and the symbol, symbolism of that was perfect for what we're doing. So. That's beautiful. So you don't want to tell about the telephone story? I, I'm just thinking, I think, I mean, he did, he went to so many lengths to create this, this, this film. And so this was one of them. Would, would you like to just tell? And, and that was a, a, as quickly as I can. The, I've got a bunch of cameras and a couple of them are my the iPhones are great cameras, iPhone 12, and I've got an iPhone 7. Lisa and I, we darted around and we went to the Grand Canyon, spent the day there. And it's not till we got back home, I realized I'd lost one of my iPhones. I didn't have it. And so I was backtracking, what are the chances? And that's the one that I had most of my footage on. So the whole day, a couple of days worth of uh, footage was on that iPhone. And I, I stressed over it, hardly slept and decided I'm going back, I have to go back and see if I can find it. And I drove back, went out on the trail, and there it was, and I got the, got the phone. But, that, but tell how far it is to drive back to the Grand Canyon. It's not like Arizona's a small state. So how far was that? It was about uh, two hours one way from Sedona. We hadn't made it back to Phoenix oh, yet. Here, no, so no. From, yes, two uh, hours, yeah. <laughs> plus the hike on the trail. <laughs> So, and, and another mile hike in. Yeah, <laughs> I was surprised with all the people who go to the Grand Canyon that it it was there. I thought the chances have to be very slim, but sure enough, it, it I found it right where I laid down to take a picture of a tree. So, <laughs> well, I was explaining to Rick earlier today that after watching it again, and I'm sure all of you will notice this, um, everything starts to get green. Everything's very, uh, very black and white, and it starts getting green at the moment that you hear hope in the song. So next time that you watch it, make sure that you watch these things that he's done. Obviously, that incredible, the symbolic frog, obviously, that was actually there, jumps into that um, design, Native American design, and mm. then he 
goes to the ceiling. Um, I, there are just so many beautiful, the, oh, I loved that um, bar area, the entryway to the hotel and having that gorgeous sunset and um, then actually going outside and capturing the same sunset without the, the building in front of it as well. Um, Oh, the dad's group. I mean, seeing the dads uh, all together, yeah. that just, it brings tears to my eyes every time I see it. It's so beautiful, just so beautiful. And Jeffrey Olson's shamanic ceremony on the first night. Oh, and you captured the smoke. Yeah. I, I can't believe that, you know, there were how many, 900 people outside and you, and you were able to capture that and you could hear the thunder. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't believe yeah. you could hear the thunder. Yes. It's beautiful. It's I've got to admit, you do. I'm glad you heard the thunder and the, the sound quality is not good because it was just impromptu. So I really couldn't elevate the volume of that, that part. But right after the thunder, you hear what captions would say indistinct chatter. But Jeffrey, right after the thunder, Jeffrey says, and the heavens acknowledge. Yes, yes. That was just amazing. Yes, and Lisa is reminding everybody, if, if you are not reading the chat box, this is true. Make sure that you watch it again. I will post the original version. Uh, obviously, this will be posted too so that you can hear Rick speak about it. But um, the original version that won't be buffered, if you all uh, experience any buffering, it'll be better quality. So you'll be able to see it um, the way that it's supposed to be seen. So um, I'm excited about being able to, to show that. And yes, I think that the most important thing that I was seeing in the chat box was that everyone was saying, that you captured the spirit of the conference so well, Rick, which is so, so- That makes it worth it. Well, and again, I think that you've worked um, 12 to 14 hours a day ever since the oh, conference on this, maybe more, I don't know. Um, and again, Rick is a volunteer. <coughs> he is um, an amazing, uh, shining light dad but he's also a volunteer and he's done all of this out of the goodness of his heart so we are so proud of all of our kids and to be able to see them at the beginning um just all together in those beautiful places is so meaningful um and again yes brian thank you it is per perfect for morgan's angel anniversary if so I can add Oh yes, go ahead. I can add something. The uh, there's a lot of pictures. I took tens of thousands of pictures, lots of them, and there were some great ones. So it's worth what for anybody who went to the the conference. For anybody who wasn't there, it might be like watching somebody's vacation um, video. <laughs> but for people that were there, a lot of it goes by fast, and I got as much as I could in to try and, and get it. But some of those pictures are are worth especially with the audience, when you can stop and you can see people that are in there, you can see expressions. And um, so it, it's good to slow it down and you can kind of ponder all the, the frames, especially at the end and the, the credits, because as the credits are rolling, not everybody, does, the credits can be distracting, but up in the top, there's just a series of a bunch of photographs that are just awesome photographs for anybody who feels like going back to slowly go through those, it, they're there so you can um, see them and you don't have to watch them quickly in the as a movie. So we're, we're passing this over to Lisa because she raised her hand and boy, oh boy, I would love to hear what she has to say about this. Well, first of all, I'm very proud of Rick and he's worked tremendously hard and this is a gift from him to all of you, but truly watching him work with all our kids was amazing. Watching him, he'd ask me a question. What do I think of this? What do I think of this? And I'd say, ask Nolan. And he says, he's, he's here. I'm asking him. I'm asking him. And the same with all of your kids. I don't know if um, anyone mentioned Ava Cassidy and Irene, so I'll let her tell about that. But I just wanted to say, Rick mentioned, it's like watching other people's vacation photos. If any of you are on here and weren't able to attend the conference, I shared with um, one of the affiliate groups last night, I hope 
everyone watches this. And I don't want anyone who wasn't at the conference to watch it and feel they missed out. I would rather everyone recognize and understand that that family is there for us every single day. Every single day, we're all here for each other, just as we were in that conference room. And when you feel we've all gone to our separate places, our separate parts of the country, click on that link and watch that video. And, and maybe you'll remember someone, give someone a call. We're all here for each other. And, and on this day, I'd like to thank Morgan for that. Now I'm getting a little verklempt, so I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> if I may add one more thing, because Lisa's right, and I've got not only the credits, but the other part, I think there were, the first was about 600 kids. And then we added another uh, 48. And for each one of those, I had to crop it and tried to do the best I could to make those pictures stand out. But from the first conference, that's one of my favorite parts. And I know for everybody listening, you, you have one or maybe two children in there, but it's so special for me and you might try to look at each one of those because it's the kids on their best day and those spirits seems to come through. I get Bert Klimp to watching that. And sometimes mm -hmm. I'll just watch two columns or I'll just watch one column and it's hard to get distracting, but it's though they're not your um, your children, they're, I find that very rewarding. So if somebody's inclined to do the same. That's beautiful. Yes, we need to have Irene talk about that beautiful over the rainbow oh, song yes and and i just want to say that when a lot of times when i'm working now i have a new video to watch i'll put on the video from the first conference and just or just watch the slideshow of the kids and i love that i know so many of the kids i mean i look at them and i can just call their names out and now i have a new video to watch but during the conference i was fortunate as was Anna Molina to get a message from Gordon Smith. And it was a beautiful message. And then a little bit later on, he went on to someone else and he came back to me and he said, your daughter is saying Eva Cassidy, listen to Eva Cassidy. And I didn't know who Eva Cassidy was at that moment in time. So of course, as soon as the session finished, I Googled it and Eva Cassidy passed very young. I think she was 30 years old. And she wasn't famous as uh, Warren and um, Sheila told me tonight until she passed for her songs and her rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which everyone knows is my song with Carly. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked when I listened, watched the video the first time. And I saw that Rick chose that song that we just listened to. And I assume that Lisa told him about Gordon saying that because Rick wasn't there. And she didn't. Rick just picked that song. It's on his playlist. So I guess Carly got in your head and said, put that song in. <laughs> but it's amazing how our kids it's do this. It was decided a long oh, time ago. It was yes. decided way before Rick ever made that, uh, this yeah. movie, which is amazing. But I am so grateful to everyone. And I see Debbie's on here too. She took some incredible incredible pictures of the conference as well. And all of those pictures are available on a uh, site that you can just go and download them. Um, and um, in fact, I put it on the conference page, but I just want everyone to know that they're absolutely beautiful as well. And we truly appreciate you doing that, Debbie. Thank you. And um, yes, thank you. And we have so many people to thank on uh, that are on here and who were part of the conference as well. But again, the people that we need to thank the, the most are our kids who made all of this possible. And I am just so glad that they are all together. They're all having a blast and they're listening to Nolan serenade them. <laughs> and um, it's, it's about one hour now, but I just want to make sure that everyone understands that this, this, obviously it will be you can see this again you can watch it as many times as you want to but the real version is the one that you should be watching that you can put full screen and you'll be able to see it so much better so you'll probably want to watch it over and over again the way that irene and i have been doing <laughs> and 
Um, I, I don't know if everybody is unmuted. Um, can you are allowed to be unmuted? Maybe we could do that and have them all say yes, they can. Yes, I'd like to. Everyone can unmute. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. It's amazing, Rick. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. Love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank